Hello friends, welcome to Rajesh Data Engineering. In this video, I'm going to talk about one of the performance optimization technique in Delta Lake development, that is Delta Cache. I have already posted a video about Spark, Cache and Persist. In case you haven't watched uh, that video, I highly recommend to watch that video to understand how Spark Cache works. While we have a Spark Cache technique already for performance optimization, what is Delta Cache and why do we need that? Delta Cache is different from Spark Cache. Delta Cache is one of the caching mechanisms used by Delta Engine to speed up the data retrieval from Delta tables. This Delta Caching is performed at hard disk or local nodes of the cluster. Whereas Spark Caching is performed at the memory of local nodes of a cluster. This is the main difference between Spark Caching and Delta Caching. We might wonder how come disk persist is better than Spark memory persist? We will come to know that when we complete this video. Delta Cache was called as DBIO Cache initially and called as Delta Cache later, but it is again renamed to Disk Cache. So basically, Delta Cache, DBIO Cache, and Disk Cache all are pointing to same concept. When we enable Delta Caching for any of the Delta table, what happens internally? When we create a delta table, the data is distributed and stored across remote location. Let it be ADLS file system or DBFS file system or S3 bucket. When we perform data analytics later on the same delta table, data would be pulled from different remote locations to serve the customer need. As the data is fetched from remote location, it will have impact on the performance. So in order to improve the data retrieval, we can enable delta cache for that table. When the delta cache is enabled, when a partition file is pulled from remote server, it will be saved in the local node of the cluster. So when a particular query needs to um, needs the same partition again for another query in the future, delta engine does not need to retrieve the partition once again from remote location. Instead of that, it can reuse the locally persisted partition, thus improving the performance. Let's take an example of sales data, which is containing hundreds of partition files stored across multiple uh, remote locations. User uh, A submits one of the SQL query to retrieve data from the sales table. That query output is depending on 10 partition out of 100 partition. So the Delta engine will pull those 10 partition for the output from the remote servers. At the same time, it will uh, persist those uh, 10 partitions into the disk of local nodes for future reference. In the future, any other query needs the same partition for its output, it does not need to pull the data once again from the remote server. Instead of that, it will read the data from the local disk. The important note here is Delta Cache is not performed for all the partitions as soon as Delta table is created. It will cache all the partitions when the data is read from Delta table for the first time after ena enabling the Delta Cache. Also, it will cache only the partition which are involved in that read, but not all the partitions. In order to preload the entire table into disk of the local nodes, we can execute query like cache select star from table. Delta cache is more efficient than smart caching because Delta cache uses efficient decompression algorithm and optimal data format compared to smart cache. How to enable a disk cache? The syntax uh, is spark.const.set and need to set the cache attribute to true. Cache attribute is spark.databricks.io.enabled. In order to disable the delta cache, we can set this property to false, but it does not mean that it will remove the already persisted files from the local disk. Instead, it will just stop persisting any more files going forward. I will walk you through code demo. Let's get started with the demo. I have logged into my Databricks environment and cluster is up and running. The first step is I am going to create sample data frame through which I can create delta table for this demo. In this cell, I have defined the schema and also created data. By combining the schema and data, creating the data frame DF. This data frame is created reading CSV file from DBFS file system. For this demo, I am using simple data file which is about 200 kilobytes but in real time we used to have data of gigabytes or terabytes or even petabytes. 
In the next step, I am creating a delta table by persisting the data frame that we created in the previous step. I am giving table name as names as it is containing baby names related information. As I have, I have not mentioned um, the database. This table will be created under default database. As I am planning to use Delta Cache mechanism in my development, I need to enable that Spark setting. I am doing that in this step. The Spark configuration property is spark.databricks.io.cache.enabled and I am setting that to true. In my next step, I am just verifying the same property to check if it is enabled. Yes, it is enabled. In the next step, I am selecting the data from table using simple SQL SELECT statement. So we need to understand the concept here. When we persisted the data while creating the delta table, data would be partitioned into multiple parquet files and it is distributed across multiple remote servers. When I perform SELECT statement now, the delta engine would pull the data from those remote servers. As the data is pulled from remote servers, there would be latent latency and it will hit the performance. The impact is applicable for any future data analytics queries as well. So in order to prevent the remote load, I am planning to use Delta Cache. To cache the entire uh, table, I am executing the next command which is Cache select star from names. This command will read the data from the remote servers during the first read and it will persist those data files into local nodes of a cluster. As a result, any future queries will access only local nodes instead of remote server. This will improve the latency, hence performance. In the next step, once again, I am reading the data from the same table names with, with where condition. Now the query will fetch the data only from local nodes with performant efficient way. Hope you understood the concept of delta caching, which is a disk caching now. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you like the content of this video, please like and comment. And also subscribe this channel to get the latest concepts in data breaks. And don't forget to click on the bell button. Thank you.